Hi everyone, Angela here. First we have the standard presser foot P351. It measures a scant quarter inch or five millimeters from the center to the side edge of the foot. It's always a good idea to turn off the power when changing presser feet and slowly lower the needle by turning the wheel by hand, making sure that it doesn't hit any part of the presser foot. You don't want to break a needle or damage your machine. This is an industry standard presser foot for any industrial single needle machine to sew a lock stitch. P58N is the short standard presser foot. It's shaped just like the standard presser foot, but is shorter and narrower. Use it just like you would the standard presser foot, but it's great when you need to sew little projects or you need to sew in very tight areas. S518NS is the invisible zipper foot, also known as the concealed zipper foot. This style has two channels on the bottom and a center piece that protrudes on the front. The coils on the back of an invisible zipper are turned upright and then run along inside the channel. If you're in Australia, you can purchase these 13 presser feet as a set from Echidna Sewing. You can also receive this set as a bonus gift from them when you purchase the Juki TL2010Q sewing machine or the TL2200QVP Mini. If you're in North America, I'll leave links for similar products. Next we have the MT18 Smooth Teflon Foot. Use this with fabrics that are hard to feed or stick underneath a standard metal foot. Great with chiffons and satins vinyls, and PU pleathers and real leather. To help prolong the life of your foot, stop your stitching at the end of the fabric instead of continuing the stitching. This will help keep the feed dogs from wearing out the resin on the bottom. The P952 is a gathering or shearing foot. You can adjust the gathering amount by turning this back screw. Use lightweight fabrics, don't hold it tightly, let it flow freely for beautiful even gathers. For fuller gathers, tighten the upper tension and use a longer stitch length. This is so much easier and neater than pulling gathers by hand. The P363 is a narrow zipper foot. It keeps good pressure on fabric, use it to sew really close to zipper teeth without damaging it. Follow the side of the foot to get a nice 1 16th of an inch or 2.5 millimeter edge stitch. Also use it as a guide to sew close to the edge of straps and to sew multiple rows of narrow top stitching. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on all notifications and leave a comment below. Use this foot when attaching D-rings or other hardware so that you can stitch nice and close and even to the side. The P360 is a narrow zipper foot for the right side of the zip and the P361 is for the left. Again, you can stitch nice and close to the zipper teeth, but this time the other side of the foot will give you a wider top stitch. What's nice about these two feet is you can get in close with the narrow side and the wider side of the foot keeps good pressure on the fabric. With these, you won't need to switch between a standard foot and a narrow zipper foot. The P36N is the open right zipper foot and the P36LN is the open left zipper foot. I actually prefer these when installing invisible zippers as you can control how close you sew to the zipper teeth. If you're using heavier fabrics, you don't want to stitch too close to the teeth as it makes it more difficult to pull up the slider. When using metal zippers as a decorative feature, you can stitch right beside the teeth. You can use this foot to make decorative piping and to install it between the fabric. You don't have to use a special piping foot. If you're making bags or pouches or anything that requires thick foam or interfacing, you'll need this foot to stitch right beside the edge of it. The CR1-32N is a compensating foot. 
One side of the foot is on a spring so that it can compensate for different thicknesses of fabric. The CR1-32NS is a narrow compensating foot. Both feet will help stabilize your stitching 1 32nd of an inch or 1 millimeter from the edge. You can use on lightweight to heavyweight fabrics. Use the narrow foot to avoid zipper teeth and buttons. The TRF1-2 is a Teflon ring foot. The nylon rings have teeth all around and they just snap onto the bottom of the Teflon foot. The foot is spring-loaded and the rings won't cling on to sticky fabrics such as leathers and vinyls. The rings rotate, moving with the feed dogs, feeding the fabric through nicely. Here's a little bonus tip. If you've ever used your standard presser foot to sew this type of wadding, you know it can quickly turn into a bit of a mess. The rings on this foot will prevent the wadding from catching on to the presser foot. Again, the link for these presser feet are down in the description. Thanks again for watching and see you in my next video.